Okay, I am not getting any Comicsgate books in the mail right now, and so I've got to think of something else to do with this channel, otherwise I'm not going to be putting up any videos for months. So let's talk about Comicsgate books coming out. And this leads me to Fairy Quest. Now, Fairy Quest has only posted in the last 24 hours, and I'll be honest, I don't know if I want to get this, and I'll tell you why. It's not because of the artwork. As we look at Fairy Quest, the artwork does look amazing. Look at that. The character designs, everything about this looks really awesome. You take a look at SJW comics that we typically get uh, from the mainstream. They do cartoony style like this, but usually it's complete trash. There's no real backgrounds. The dialogue is garbage. This actually looks really good. And you can tell by the offerings that the format is actually going to look excellent as well. The problem with this isn't the story. I like the idea of the story. It's not the character design. It's not the artwork. It's not the coloring. Although there is a little bit of bisexual lighting in this particular cover. But given what they're riffing, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, and obviously, they don't have any problems showing a little bit of sex appeal in their characters. No. My problem is that I have no idea if the people behind this are Comicsgate. I don't know. I mean, if you come down here, uh, they tell us that they know Billy Tucci, Brian Polito, Dan Fraga... Which right there, awesome. Anybody who name drops Dan Fraga, you get a thumbs up in my book every single time because Dan Fraga is awesome. But at the same time, just because you know Dan Fraga does not mean you're comics gate. Now, just because you don't say you're comics gate in the text, I mean, doesn't mean that you're not comics gate. I mean, heck, even Ethan Van Skyver doesn't put down comics gate or hail comics gate in his campaigns. He doesn't do it. But if you're comics gate and we don't know who you are as part of the comics gate community or we don't know you very well, do yourself a favor. Tell us your comics gate because I like the look of your book, man. I really love what you're doing here. It does look good. But you're also telling me that you worked on Wolverine and Spider-Man, the Hulk, Batman and Avengers and Captain America and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those are all really great items for the mainstream. But that's the mainstream. And the mainstream is not Comicsgate. And I don't support the mainstream anymore. After what happened uh, with so many of the pros that I love, if you're mainstream, I have absolutely zero interest in supporting you, your books, or anything you're doing. And if you're a douchebag to fans on Twitter... I'm not going to buy your stuff. That's all there is to it. But at the same time, I don't have enough hours in my day to go hunting down every person on Twitter and find out, are they a dirtbag or not? So if you want to make everybody's lives a little bit easier, if you're new to Comicsgate, uh, Mr. Paul Jenkins, uh, if, you, if you want to go ahead and sell your stuff, book to a comics gate audience put a hail comics gate in your description someplace let us know that you are on our side because if you're on the side of the fans i promise you we will be on your side too i have plenty of comics gate books that i have backed over the last year that I still haven't gotten in the mail yet. Right now, I have three books. Three that I've gotten. One digital, two in real life. And 
I know that I've got more coming. I'm really looking forward to them. But I do not waste my money on creators who are not Comicsgate. It's just how I am. You can say that makes me a jerk. I don't care. I only back Comicsgate creators. Finn. End of story. So if you want my money, let me know that you're Comicsgate. Because I'll tell you right now, Mr. Jenkins, this looks really great. I really love what I see here. And you only just started. This may be a book that I want to back. And I freely admit, I'm going to go find out if you're Comicsgate or not. If you are, I'll back you. If you're not, I won't. But I'm not hitting this button until I know. And I promise you, if you would put Hail Comicsgate or hashtag Comicsgate in the body of your campaign, just put it there. Instead of saying, hi, everyone, you should say, Hail Comicsgate. Without reading another word, I would have come up and clicked that button right there and backed your project. I would have found the perk that fits my financial situation and I would have backed your project. Probably not digitally though. Actually, if it's one, two, and three, I might do that digitally, but I'd also probably go ahead and back a physical quality or copy of your book as well. And uh, if you're offering all three f- books physically, I, you know, yeah, I mean, you are, is that what you're doing? Let me look at this. All three issues of our gorgeous story with art by Mike Bowden, Humberto Ramos, and Leo Olea. Since you pledge for all three books and you are one of the first 50 backers, we are not just lowering the price by $10. We've taken $20 off just for you being awesome. Come with us all on the extra stretch goal items and bonus free stuff. Again, yes. Yes, I want to back this. I want to back this. But I don't know your comics gate. So since I don't know your comics gate, now you're going to make me go do the legwork to find out if you are comics gate before I hit this button. Make our lives a little bit easier. Tell us your comics gate. We'll click the button for you. I promise. But if we don't know, I mean, not everyone's like me. Not everyone's going to go through the drat and bother of doing a deep dive on your Twitter and searching and asking other people, is this guy comics gate or not? Most people are just going to wait for somebody else to mention you. And if we miss their stream, then we're not going to know. Hail comics gate. Put it on the page and we'll back the project. That's all.